All right, so the patch notes should be live, and I'm guessing it's an OC banner. So obviously we haven't checked yet. Uh, let's hit the refresh. I let's let's see, let's see, and it's oh, it doesn't show. Okay, um, it's Chandler. <laughs> it's actually Chandler. Wait, is he a fest unit? There's no way he's the fest unit. New and he's green. His art looks sick. 400%. That's not flood. That's 500% for flood. He has two attack. He's just going to be a tax of the death. He's on an OC banner. To be honest, it's almost an OC banner. I. There's only one good unit on this banner. I mean, I guess the new, the old Chandler is good, but I assume this new Chandler is going to take a spot. I assume uh, this is a 600 gem. Yeah, 600 gem. Uh, you can only pick Chandler at this. Like, I hate that. It makes no sense. Like, yeah, I'm probably on this banner. You probably want it. He's 0.5%. Okay, okay. Uh, let me just roughly translate what this shit is. Uh, it looks like he can work in the sub, which is actually pretty good. Um, uh, let me get this Google Translator out real quick. You know what I'm saying, homies? Uh... Camera. Let's get that text. Okay, go away. Um, apparently, if all allies participating in the battle are specific allies, the pierce rate of all allies is increased by 40%. When the ally specific allies attack the enemy, the damage dealt is increased for each debuff effect on the enemy, increased by 10% up to 30%. The specifics is allies, demons, characters, and commandments. Okay. They... He has a stance removal card. Do you see this shit? That that card right there is a goddamn stance. Dude, he does not need a goddamn stance removal. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, um. So, he's he's a pure straight buffer for demons. What, what is this? And he has an AoE pierce card. Okay, what is his ultimate? Um, cancels the buff and stance of a single enemy, equal to seven hundred thirty-five percent of attack. Uh, uh, he has he has a stance and buff remove cancel single target ult, and stuns for two turns at six out of six. I assume yeah, it's only one six one turn at one out of six or anything lower. I think he's a skip. Like, yeah, yes, he's good, but nothing mind-boggling. Nothing mind-boggling, because who would you replace? Like, he has one AoE. He can easily be attacked to the death. He needed a debuff card. He needed at least one debuff card, because then Sigurd would have had a debuff. Or, uh, I mean, I guess you're probably going to run Trader Melee with him, to be honest. You can't run him with Rimuru, because he only increases his commandments. Uh, maybe it's to be run with the Zell, but then you'll still only have one debuff card. He's a skip. I, I feel like he is a skip. But if you like him, go. Okay. This is the hottest fucking outfit in Grand Cross. God damn, this, this man is sexy. Holy shit. Except this one. This one looks like it. God damn, that is a W and a half outfit. Um, We got a new... Ooh, a new set. An OC set? OC set? Let's see. What is this? Um... Uh... If P in PvP, if an ally with the seven plagues, so I assume seven catastrophes trait is alive, the ally's basic stats are increased by X percent. Uh, base stat increase goes up to five percent, and damage reduction goes up to ten. And they all have terrible cards, so it's going to be a very low CC uh, thing, unfortunately. Fight festival. Wilo is coming back. Okay, that's pretty cool. So top 100 will actually have a reason to push. So for those people that are actually pushing, I kind of want to try and global because I actually think this guy's kind of funny. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're getting those. Any relics? One type of regular pack sale it appears. Okay. Uh, was there two new packs? Those aren't new. Those are just shit. Um. Was there anything about relics? I don't think so. Uh, seasonal rule. Oh, allies deal 30% 30, 30 more damage with single target skills. Okay, so Trader Melee is meant for this uh, month. Okay, then. Or Reinhardt, to be honest. Reinhardt hits super hard. I have a video coming out with him, like, immediately after. 
Um, what is this? Um, improve some special attacks and sacred items. So you can uh, now see special skill and time of the great sea to be split. Improve the activation text of Queen Diane's special skill. Oh, so you can see Tarmiel's Grace easier, I guess. Added a function to guide the production of sacred items for the uh, beast. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. This is a W. I think that's a very good, uh, good feature. Um, improves so that you can check the details of the increasing status when performing a bond character. Oh, so you see how much a link gives. That's that's really good because it's just like looking at the numbers and it use this uh, display usually blocks it. Really good uh, quality of life. I can't lie. Improve the pack received history function. Okay, improve prayer rank. Uh, get some decent event login items. That's pretty nice. Um, we got the stupid boxing again for more emotes that I think are a hundred percent repeat. I think the next banner is a catastrophe. I'm thinking it's a catastrophe, a hundred percent. I think they did this last time, and then they dropped mono, um, the green and awaken, the uh, green mono and awakened Easton. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that catastrophe is next. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. It's a. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Is this a? It's just a free event, okay? I thought it was another Hawk Pass outfit for a second because it kind of looked like a Painter one for a second, but no, it's just a golfing one, I think. I think it's a golf club. I don't know. But that looks really sick. I, I actually do like that outfit for Mono. Um, why does it look like Meliodas has a mustache? I don't know. Um, we're going to be getting some gems from it, so obviously I think you should definitely log in and clear it. Um, the card packs, it looks like this is how you're going to get the Roxy card set and the Mono outfit, and... Is that a new Easton skin? I think it's an old one, unfortunately. Final boss, Sariel is here. Bro, he actually looks sick. I actually like the hair. I, I think he looks really cool. Um, So there's Hard, Extreme, Hell, and Challenger. So they're putting it all in one, it looks like. Okay. Um, So how do you get... So top 30%, okay, so top 50% you get these chalices, and then top 50% you get the headpiece, top 10%, the items look a bit better, I think, I, I don't know, they're kind of displaying it weird, because last time it, I think it was a bit more coherent as to what you got, because I think they're just adding stuff each floor, you're not actually getting the 120 gems, I assume, um... It's a Sariel SSR card, okay, for number one? or No, you, you get one of those, I think. I don't know, I'm going to have to, like, beat this and see how it goes. I assume this boss is going to be very difficult, by the way. I assume he will, because it's a first Archangel boss. Um, what is this? This is the amount of coins it costs to get, and then... I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't really know, but it, it looks interesting. Um, no relics? Added to the monster pass of Skull and Hottie and th th third floor phase through Skull and Hottie. The number of applicable terms will be applied to the beast battle. T okay, cool, whatever. I don't care. He's added! He's added! Tarmiel is... I spat all over my fucking screen. Tarmiel is added to the SSR tickets. It only took... What? Four and a half months? Five months? Super weird timing. But he is added. He is finally added. I gotta screenshot it. Oh my god. He is finally here. That is a huge update. This is a pretty good update. I can't lie. I can't lie. But uh, yeah, that is the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think of the Chandler? He looks good, but I don't think he's a must summon. Um, obviously only time will tell. Um, and yeah. Take care, uh, peace out, and let me know if you want to summon. If you're going to be summoning from I can't, I, 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 I cannot. I have to wait for a new fest banner or a skull and hottie unit. Uh, I just don't think summoning for Chandler is worth it, unfortunately. Um, but yet again, no holy relics. It's super weird that they aren't dropping like any relics whatsoever. Um, but yeah. Oh, also there's multiple rules, but I don't have my translator open anymore. But yeah, take care and... Peace.